Is it okay for a woman to have the final say where her male partner finishes? I had a situation in my last serious relationship that really bothered me. I never wanted to ask anyone IRL about it so thought I'd ask here. My now ex-fiancé and I had been having unprotected sex for about a month because we were open to having a baby. One night, I asked him not to finish in me because we were getting ready to go out and I didn't want the mess. He did, on purpose. And then he said, it's my decision, not yours. Is that common or uncommon? I felt really violated and tbh, it hastened the downfall of our relationship. I would have understood if he got caught up in the moment and didn't pull out in time, but it felt like he was asserting his dominance over me. Especially in context of some other things going on. Then I felt like I might have been overreacting. Edit wow. I didn't expect so many answers or that folks would feel so strongly. Thanks for chiming in. Also, one of the reasons I wasn't sure if it was a violation is how common it has been to hear friends discuss a guy finishing on her face when she'd said not to, or initiating anal when she said she didn't like it. Something to ponder. He gets to decide if he ejaculates onto a sock, his hand, the sheets. You get to decide anything that touches your body. No exceptions. You're not property. What happens to, with, and in your body is 100 yours to control? Nope. It is absolutely not his decision. I never would have slept with that person ever again. You are not property. I ended things with a guy that did something similar to this. I think in their minds it's some kind of domination kink but it's just downright disrespectful to completely ignore our requests. Nope not at all. This is exactly in line with stealthing, a form of rape wherein a guy promises to wear a condom during sex and either doesn't or slips it off during. You feel violated because, I'm sorry to say, you were. He forcibly took that choice away from you. You didn't deserve this and should not have had to go through this. It's good you were able to get away from him and I hope you're doing better. But something terrible did happen to you, and your feelings of disgust are valid and just, and he sounds like a scumbag. No, you're not overreacting. You expressly told him not to ejaculate in you and he ignored your request and did it anyway. He did not get consent from you. Besides the fact that this increases your risk of getting pregnant, then you have to deal with the cleanup. And that cleanup can take hours, messes your underwear, etc. Hetero men will never understand this feeling of having a substance enter their body this way and then dealing with the consequences and aftermath of it. I'm sorry you experienced this, but glad you decided to leave your ex, as that was a huge red flag moment. That's just rape. You can withdraw consent at any time. Yeah, I mean if you don't want it in or on your body, that's your body. Here is how this honestly reads to me. W don't finish in me. M it's my choice and now I'm choosing to change this nice sex into rape by ignoring your bodily autonomy and coming in you because I can. This guy is a complete shit of a person and I'm glad you're not together anymore. That's rape. It's rape and I'm sorry this happened to you. That's classified as rape. I'm glad he's your ex now. You're right to feel violated it was rape. I would have cleaned myself out and used whatever he was wearing to whatever you were doing afterward to wipe my hands clean. You think you can come where you want? I can wipe my dirty hands wherever I want. Nope. That's your body. The decision is 100 yours. People can challenge that and face sexual assault charges though. By law sex without consent is rape, and that includes any part of the sexual. This is rape, FYI. You can't tell him where he finishes, but you can tell him where he doesn't. If he wants to put it in the toilet, or a waste paper basket, or up the street or whatever, none of your business. But when it comes to your body, you get total veto on anywhere on your body you do or don't want it. That's fucking rape and your ex is a piece of shit period. So glad you didn't marry this guy and presumably didn't have a kid with him. Appallingly disrespectful of your bodily autonomy. 
As of October of last year what he did is a crime in California punishable with prison time for this type of assault. Unfortunately it's the only state where what he did is illegal. Edit I left the state out. You only mentioned that you felt violated, which seems incredibly reasonable and understandable to me. Sex, including finishing inside of a partner, requires ongoing consent. You explicitly stated that you didn't want him to finish inside you, and he blatantly disregarded that. It was not up to him to decide that, and wow with an attitude like that, sounds like a very good thing you didn't marry him. Honestly? I consider this rape. You are not overreacting at all. I have trauma in my past from a rape and I freak out if a guy even tries to finish on or anywhere near my face. By his logic we should all just allow men to finish inside us or on our face or on our backs. Why? I am so glad you didn't have a baby with this guy. OP, that's rape. Someone ejaculating in you without consent is a crime. Not only is it fully your decision, but it's illegal to violate your choice, if it helps to give you confidence in this concept. I'm a guy, would not dream of finishing somewhere I didn't explicitly know was okay. Definitely not an overreaction, especially with how aggressive it seems like he was about it. This is rape. Not the asshole, you were a victim of sexual assault. You clearly told him no and he did it anyways. Anything against your consent is abuse. I'm glad to see this is an ex and you've removed yourself from the situation because this world definitely does not need his genetics being reproduced. Regarding finishing anywhere on or in you, it's not just okay. It's your body. You are never someone else's property, or someone else's anything. It's not okay for you to want to have final say, if they want to finish inside or on you, it's required. Of course I've always 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 heard partners ask me where to finish. That's awful and I'm glad he's out of your life. Nothing should happen to you without your consent. It honestly sounds like someone who was trying to test boundaries and possibly push them further at a later point. It's not difficult at all for men to control themselves. My first serious girlfriend was so repulsed by semen that she didn't want me finishing near her. It's not difficult to accommodate an intimate partner's request. Your sex life should be something you enjoy. It's not some act of submission to your partner. I would argue that both have a say. The woman can veto anywhere in on her body that she doesn't want, but the guy has the right to not finish in on her if he doesn't want to. Like, if the woman says don't finish inside me but the face is okay, the man has the right to say I don't want to finish on the face so I'll use a tissue. What the actual fuck? It is 100% not okay to do that, or tell you that. I'm so fucking glad you didn't get pregnant with him. You didn't overreact. That was completely not okay. You have a right to sexual boundaries and he broke them. You made the right call in breaking up. My eyes almost fell out of their sockets going OMG. What he did was utterly disrespectful and completely disregarded your wishes for your body. Yours, not his. It's not surprising you felt violated, that was justified, and I'm so glad this man is out of your life. It does read like an Andrew Tate-style alpha male dominance thing. I hate all those guys peddling this shit to young inexperienced men, it's so fucking toxic. That's awful, I'm sorry. My last partner tended to ask me before he finished if that was okay and give me a chance to state any preferences about how when where. I really appreciated that. It should absolutely be your decision, and he absolutely violated your trust and your boundaries. Hey, dude here. Women do have veto power on cream pies, or the exact location of ejaculation. The guy sounds like bad news if he openly disregarded your statement. Dude even the fuckboys I banged have been polite about it enough to give me discretion on where they should finish. That shit is hella rapey. If your ex fiancé can't even be as polite as a fuckboy he's got issues. I think you dodged a bullet there. I'm glad he's your ex fiancé.